Sabe? Vou lá, vou lá. Um só para que lá o Juan se queira pintar. Agora deve ser bem bem mocado, você. Malo, malo, malo. Oh, well, thank you, DJ. Uh, DJ Tanoai. <laughs> Well, to all our beautiful people uh, that have once again uh, hooked into our Talanoa Live as part of our village series on our Pacifica Against Coronavirus Facebook page, thank you and welcome. Welcome to you all as tonight, uh, the title of our um, Talanoa Live tonight is Kava Drinking, Kava Drinking, which I'm sure is a favorite for many of you who are watching all two of you, including the four of us here uh, on our show tonight. But I just want to welcome our amazing guests uh, to Amazing guests, we've got one from the beautiful islands of Fiji, uh, also a member of the board at the Fono Health Services, and a member of the Chartered Accountants in Australia, New Zealand, with uh, close to 20 years of experience in, uh, in the finance sector. So I just want to welcome one of our guests tonight, Nisan Bulavinaka, to Nada Nieli Yali Mai Wai. Yes. Uh, welcome, uh, brother. Bula Bula. Bula. And I also, uh, thank you for joining us tonight also. Also want to welcome our uh, other guest, uh, our Togo from uh, the Kingdom of Tonga, uh, also known as the Kava Doctor, uh, a former student of uh, Auckland University and also uh, uh, in the health sector as well, working at uh, Te Pou Te Whakaro Nui. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pakilau Manase Lua. Yeah. Hello, 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 Hello well, welcome, brothers, and now uh, and can't, can't forget our DJ, the man himself, Mr. Tanawai, Bernard Tanawai. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for uh, supplying the music, and uh, also Tanawai will be uh, firing through some of our awesome questions from you, our viewers uh, from Facebook. But uh, just want to welcome once again our brothers, uh, another and uh, Paki Lau. Thank you for being with us tonight Malo. as uh, we talk about our uh, kava drinking and. You know, no better uh, people to get than yourselves, two professors of uh, kava drinking. And already Paki Lau's vision is a bit blurry and uh, the tongue is numb already. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, look, it's um, we've gone from level four, level three, level two officially today. How have things been uh, or, or changed for your family and other in, uh, with level two now? Uh, yeah, uh, my uh, close family are in uh, Australian Fiji at the moment, so I'm uh, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and easy to manage uh, the bubble here. Um, yeah, but it's really good to, uh, I mean, I, I just came up from, um, I went down the road just a, a couple of minutes ago and came back, and it was a truck of traffic, and I think everybody just came out from their houses today in, in Auckland, and it looked like a normal day in Auckland, uh, the road was traffic, so uh, but uh, good to uh, good to see that, and uh, good to know that we are heading downstream and hopefully into level one and uh, normality again soon. Eh? Mm. Thanks for that. Another. What about you, uh, Pakilau? Has there been massive change from uh, level, you know level two compared to what it was in level four for you? Uh, not not really. Also, I've got a big bubble. We've got about mm. uh, I won't say the real number, but <laughs> yeah, eight eight of us eight of us here at home, and uh, yeah, it's it's um, good because the kids are going to school next week on Monday. So uh, I work from home because uh, our, our work are not frontline, but yeah, it's, it's, um, we, we're kind of feeling that it's a little bit more relaxed than mm -hmm. the, you know, the level three. And also it's good that you can get, um, get out and get some food, whatever you need, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to all our viewers out there, hopefully uh, you get a chance or maybe some of you have already seen uh, a video on there on our village series on our Facebook on our Corona, um, let's figure uh, against coronavirus, which is uh, the cover connection, was a video featuring our two guests tonight, and I, I just wanted to touch on on some of the uh, the things uh, on on the video there uh, for another uh, to to start with first. Um, 
Well, what uh, can you explain? Because for me, I, I, you know, I know very little about cover. I, the last time I had a good uh, cover session was probably a couple of years ago, and uh, you know, it's to socialize and that. But I guess with uh, yourself and also with Pakilo, we have a better understanding. Uh, could, could you let us uh, see what your views are on, you know, one of the key purpose and, and cultural traditions uh, and with uh, kava drinking? Yeah, I mean, in, um, I can speak from a, probably a Fiji perspective. I mean, I, um, I was born and grew up in Fiji, so um, so from childhood till, you know, till the um, teenage and grown up years, you uh, grow up with uh, kava. We call it Yangona in Fiji. Eh? Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, so you, you grew up being part of, uh, you grew up seeing uh, Yangona or cover being consumed or being part of uh, everyday society. So you see it in various forms in various uh, uh, areas. So from, from formal cultural shaping and the installation of a chief uh, to uh, more social gatherings where you People get together to uh, have a, a social drink uh, after a hard day's work at the village, uh, sitting family settings and family meet together. They have um, they have a session of kavo um, uh, So you, so I see it in various settings, from mm. formal settings in terms of formal uh, traditional Fijian ceremonies, uh, uh, important meetings, or uh, chiefly installations. Right down to uh, social gatherings in um, in uh, in uh, family homes or in uh, a particular place of gathering, or you want to call it cover clubs, or mm -hmm. you know, places where you congregate to have a social meeting. And also, you uh, you can go to the urban centres. You see it in the like you go out into the supermarket. You see uh, you can go up there. You'll see people um, you know, having having bowls of uh, cover. So in Fiji, we call it yangona or grog. Eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. grog. Growth. So it's it's uh, it's uh, very uh, popular uh, up in, in Fiji and even the Fijian diaspora who have moved away from Fiji, they still mm -hmm. uh, bring the, the customs across to New Zealand or Australia, wherever, wherever they are in the world. They'll they'll get together to uh, uh, have a few few bowls, uh, particularly at the end of a hard hard uh, hard week of working or in the weekend. They, you know they get together and uh, social to, to socialize. So very very similar to you know. Going down yeah. to the pub and have a, have a drink with mates, but yeah. it's uh, in, um, uh, in in the Fijian setting or in the Pacific setting, it's, a, it's around cover bowls. And, you know, there's all sorts of yeah. uh, dimensions to it, and uh, I'm not sure we could get into it. Mm -hmm. Tell them what to not go. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that, Mother. Now, Pakila, you know, we've heard from another with the, the Fijian uh, perspective. Would it be very similar as well uh, in the Tongan community? Yeah, very, very similar to my uh, Fijian brothers. Um, we drink it socially, mm. uh, but also ceremonially as well. Um, in fact, even uh, some churches, before the Fafiao does the, the sermon, mm. he'll call all of his um, officers and they'll have a cover, nice. particularly in the Methodist church. Hey? Mm. So cover is a central part of our culture. Um, back in the old days, it used to be the domain of chiefs and their attendants. Um, mm. But... Uh, our king, Dubo the first, emancipated the cover. Yeah. So he, he took the tapu away from it, and he said, "You can, you can all have the cover." No. We call it the fonua. You're literally drinking your land. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah man, see, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested with it, uh, especially after watching the, the cover connection video. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering, uh, um, Tanoi, would that every all similar, even with us as uh, Samoan as well? Yeah, yeah, you see that it's uh, used for the ceremonies, the traditional ceremonies that we have. I mean, I mean, there's so much you can cover in the other ceremony, but one thing that's unique for us is the only people that are allowed in the other ceremony are Matais, chiefs only. Mm -hmm. The only people that aren't chiefs there are the Aumanga, the servants, the ones that are there to angai the kangoa to, to sit next to the taupo. And it's beautiful because everyone's seated. You have your elite titles, your tulafale titles, your paramount chiefs, your... Um, your orator chiefs and then everyone's seated but only one person's allowed to stand and walk in their sacred space and you hear them when you see the other ceremony when they're clapping then everyone claps claps and then the last line he says the person that's yelling out is 
kulai se soli kamali i mafali upolu, which means stand up someone who is going to walk and trample over these matais. Uh, but he's not walking disrespectfully, he's walking to serve the other, uh, which is beautiful. And it's such a sacred thing, and it's good, it's really sacred in Samoa and the other ceremonies we have in New Zealand, Australia. We've got to keep it alive, eh? so it's beautiful. Yeah. I think it's really nice, uh, just to, especially for someone like me, I'm probably like one of many, you know, really limited uh, understanding of, uh, I know that Alva and Kava is part of our cultures, but to, uh, to what extent and, you know, and, and so because uh, one thing that I've learned with uh, drinking Kava is that uh, I will never, ever drink with Tongans and Fijians <laughs> ever again. <laughs> the last time I, have a, uh, I, I, had a, I had some other when I was in Samoa, <coughs> you know, we, did, we, we did a few rounds and it was good. We could still talk after a fourth, fifth, sixth round. But when I drank with these Tongans and Fijians, after the first round, I was like, I ah, didn't feel my tongue, my lips. I thought, man, these guys, we take part of their stuff. They're real strong stuff. So if there's one thing I learned, I will never drink with uh, <laughs> Tongans and Fijians if I want to keep a conversation going uh, after half an hour. But um, uh, probably another question as well for another and, uh, and Bucky Lau is, how has cover drinking evolved over time? Uh, I'll, I'll um, start off. Uh, I think for, for Tonga, uh, the cover tradition goes back about a thousand years or so. Uh, and there's the legend of uh, cover being um, uh, a part of a ceremony that was done when a, a king went to a certain island. To cut a long story short, they didn't have any food. Mm. So what did they do? They killed the only person on there that was edible, uh, a young lady, put her in the umu. Uh, and then when the king found out that the poor parents were so desperate, they didn't have any food. And when he found out, he felt stink, told them to rebury it. Don't, uh, you know, take her out and just leave her there. As, as that, that's her grave. And then from her head grew the cover and her feet, the oh, sugar cane. Nice. And that's, that's the legend. And then a mouse oh. apparently nibbled on the cover and started going dizzy like what <laughs> Tofinga, Tofinga was saying. And they go numb. And then he ate the sugar cane and that became the antidote for the cover. That, that's the origin thousand years ago. Mm. Fast forward now, and a lot of people drink kava, not so ceremonially, but they still keep that sacredness of the kava. They still tapu around it. Uh, even when you drink it socially, there is an etiquette with drinking kava, mm. you know, and, and not, not counting the ceremonial use when you're installing a chief. That's, that's the, real, the real other ceremony there. Uh, but even in the Tongan Daumafa kava, when you're installing a king, that's where you see the, the order. You know, the whole country, all of the chiefs from the country are sitting around the two sides. We call them the two alofi. Uh, and you've got the tanoa opposite the king. And there's a whole ceremony around there. Very similar to Samoa. Mm. Uh, but uh, in, in Tonga, no two chiefs are allowed to sit together. It always has to be a chief, a talking chief, chief, matapule, chief, matapule, in between the chiefs. Don't know why, but that's just the way it was. Um, so it's evolved over time. Now you can sit around in a hall, you can sit around at home, you can do it online. Uh, it's, it's evolved over time. And a lot of people have misconceptions of cover being a bad, bad drink or mm. not a good thing to do. And a lot of that's to do with the language because in Tongan, alcohol is called kava malohi, you know? Or, and we use the word cover to, to, to describe alcohol. And so it gets tainted with all the negative things that you get with alcohol. That, that's my experience anyway, yeah, with the yeah. cover. Nice. Yeah, yeah for, 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 uh, for Fiji, yeah, it's uh, similar to Tonga. I mean, as I, as I said before, in the past, and, you know, going back uh, 100 years, used to be the domain of chiefs, um, the, the Yangono, the cover. So when, whenever chiefs get together or elders of a particular clan, family get together, the cover was served and it was uh, was, uh, was reserved for the, for the chiefs. And even during chiefly relations, you, you, um, you see cover being, being served. But um, with the advent of Christianity, Christianity came in and um, in the starting of uh, nationhood of Fiji became a colony, you know, things de uh, mm. uh, developed uh, slowly from there. And then um, so the cover so the consumption of cover, the drinking of cover in Yangon, 
we are, you know, evolved over over time. We are, I was not, not restricted to formal settings or formal meetings or the domain of chiefs only, but it became, you know, um, uh, every, every, everybody, particularly men, uh, you know, Fijian uh, society who partake in, in drinking Yangona. And, and um, over the, over the years, um, you know, Fast forward to now, which is the 21st century, am I right? 21st century. Yeah. You know, it's uh, from from the domain of chiefs to elders to men. Now we, we see in Fiji, it uh, covers not only by men, but by women too now. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. And uh, it's covering the age groups as well, from older men, even down to the uh, young adults now, right? And so um, the cover, so the cover yeah, usage of cover drinking. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much prevalent. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, with anything, you, uh, you, yeah. you take it to the extreme, you, you know, you have some, you have consequences. Uh, and and yeah, that was a, a well known. Uh, but we do, you know, we do advocate, you know, moderate use and use it with reason and, yeah. and uh, sensibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Another, um, the other thing, just when uh, Pakila was talking, and I thought it was quite fascinating just to be able to hear that legend. Uh, they were talking about, you know, how the cover from the head and the, the sugar cane at the feet. You know, Tanoi, is there a, a legend about our, our I'm sure. Yeah, oh, there's heaps of stories. There's heaps of stories. And that's the thing with the Samoan cultures, there's different versions where they say where the other sick was originated from. Some, you know, there's stories about the village of Vailele, some in Saifoku, different villages. But I think the unique thing about us, what Pakila was talking about, was um, how back in the days for the Ava Fa'atupu, the king Ava, they used to ceremony, the special ones they used to do. Um, there's a person that sits down that receives, that drinks the cup before the king actually drinks it. And so we were, uh, we were privileged a couple of years ago, we had the head of state come from Samoa, the former head of state, uh, Tuya Tua, come from Samoa, and we got all our New Zealand-born generation to partake and be part of the, other, the king of a ceremony. And one of the old men who passed away, uh, Leilua, um, he shared with the younger generation the whole meaning behind it and the purpose of that person drinking the cup. And they said that if it was poisoned, then that person dies and the king lives. <laughs> Which is quite sad, <laughs> but, it, but it's what happened back in the days because people would try and find ways mm. eh, because of the titles, because of the, you know, mm. just everything. So, I mean, I think there's a lot of similarities with the with the three cultures, but it's such a special thing. And with the Samoans as well, is that was our Saunina before the missionaries arrived. That was our Lotu. That was our sacred place of worship. And if you look at it, we have Ali titles, that's the mm. God. Yeah, to La Fale titles, they were our priests, our preachers. And so, you know, everything, once the missionaries arrived, it just married into what our culture, you know, is today. So it's, it's beautiful, yeah. Oh, nice. I just, uh, just want to add to that is um, in, in Fijian setting, now your, your sense of place in a cover circle is also important, right? Big time. Uh, even not only in a, like a chiefly installation or in a formal setting, but even when you're so gathering socially, your sense of place within that, that cover setting is you can you can definitely tell how people relate to one another. You can definitely tell who's the who's got you know chiefly blood. You know they they, they sit from the top or they have this first. Uh, and I think Pakia, Pakilao, uh, mm. mentioned you know uh, ultimate drinking. You'll you'll sit in social gathering. You know yeah. the chief mm. drinks and yeah. his or her sidekick will drink after. You know so oh, it's it's yeah. a sense of place and sense of relationship that's prevalent. Mm. If you're not uh, familiar with Pacific cultures, uh, mm. you'll probably see it. Oh, it's just a group of people that's sitting down and you know yeah. having a cover, but yeah. you, you don't see the deep dynamics that exist yeah. in cover mm. setting. Yeah. Mm. Now, um, with the with the whole lockdown and 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 all that, and us staying in our bubbles, how has cover drinking modified during this time? For Tongans. It's modified a lot because they can't drink as much now. <laughs> so um, you, you've seen a lot of these rebel clubs because um, cover is very expensive. You know, we're talking mm -hmm. about 120 bucks a, a kilo now. It used to be even more when after the cyclones, about 160, but it's gone down a little bit. Um, and so one one of the benefits of drinking socially is that you can afford to go and drink cover because everyone chips in. So in Tonga, when you walk into a social cover club. 
It's actually a fundraising network as well. So we we pay what we call a holo. So you come in with 20 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. Just don't come in with nothing because you might get thrown out. <laughs> so you just put in what, what you can afford. And that goes into the general bucket. And so the power bill goes out of there. The, the, oh, so nice. A bit for the cover, you know. And then what's left over, the, they, they save up over the year. And then when a village uh, rugby team come mm. over, they use that to fundraise for the kids. And they, they literally can save tens of thousands of dollars. A lot of churches in South Auckland were built by cover networks. Damn. And there are over 200 cover clubs in Auckland alone. So, you know, you, you, you'll drive in Mangere and you'll see a garage with lights on at two in the morning. That's a cover club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for, um, you know, for the Fiji communities, um, well, I mean, not only in New Zealand, but uh, abroad, where there's lockdown, uh, I think one of the things that's been disrupted is the get, getting together, eh? That's yeah. the first thing that's been disrupted is because uh, uh, you normally used to, okay, let's, uh, you know, go to a family, go to a friend to go and sit down and have. That's the first thing that got disrupted. Uh, you can't go to another house. Mm -hmm. So straight away, because the, you know, the essence of uh, mm -hmm. drinking and gone or drinking and cover is hello, no one, you know, yeah. you get together and hey, how are you? How's your work? How's your mm -hmm. You actually sit down and hello, no one. Yeah. That got disrupted and people were locked in with their. With their within the bubble within the family so um so people had to be creative and you know with the advent of technology like we're doing now we're talking virtually came the virtual uh talano yeah. of uh, young gonna drink it mm. and uh nasi and mm. nasi cover cup you know that that's mm. been going well over the past couple of weeks and i know in uh, several uh, families pigeon families and communities right across new zealand you know they mix the cover in the the their living rooms or their garages, uh, and they were able to talanoa within their own bubble, within their yeah. family, yeah. but also at the same time link up with their with their mates across the neighborhood, across the other parts of town, and even globally back back to home in Fiji and even yeah. right across to America and all this. Mm. So they were, you know, so everybody was, you know, was was uh, was thinking. So but what about a, a whole new dynamic to uh, you know, going to drinking or cover drinking? Mm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, with the advent of technology, so we're in a very uh, uh, interesting space. As you know, as cover cover story continu continues to evolve from what it was like hundred years ago, over the yeah. years, mm. up to now, and now we are in another dimension now. So um, so it'd be interesting to to see how, how this goes. So another in uh, Pakila, where how do you see uh, the next? Uh, cover session is going to be like straight after lockdown is lifted and, and you know everyone's allowed to break free and how do you think it's going to look uh, yeah. bro that's going to be a cover tsunami man it's going to be a cover tsunami hard out you know a lot of people are itching to get back and and, and socialize yeah. hey um yeah. And even though it's great to drink cover online, but it still feels wrong because you're sitting by yourself talking to the <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you've got your big bowl of cover. Well, I have got my big mm. bowl of cover and, and it's just up to me to dr drink it and it doesn't feel right. But mm. the good thing with being online is that everyone's um, in the same predicament. So we're mm. all sitting there, you know, uh, looking like a bit of a loser sitting by ourselves. <laughs> but you're sharing and that you're experience. Home. <laughs> yeah. But you're we're home. home and you're hey, safe. home. <laughs> You know, the, my, my wife's going, oh, yeah, there he is. She's over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's just here, so he's okay, you know? So these are some of the social benefits of, of drinking online, cover. Yeah. You still have the talano, you still share the information, it's fun. You know, we crack hard out jokes and you know, crusty and backstab everyone. <laughs> and then you talk to and talk about all the serious stuff, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So th that's the beautiful thing about talano, and everyone's the same in the social circle. Yeah. You know, you still respect uh, your elders in that, but but everyone has an equal say. So in the Tongan yeah. circle, you you hang your title on the door before you come into the club. You nice. hang your PhD on the door and nice. you walk mm. in. You know, your age, you hang it there, and everyone's the same. But yeah. but, but like uh, what Nada said, I I've, I know my place, so I won't go sit in the front of the kumete opposite because I know that's where the chief sits. I'll go and sit yeah. around the back near the the yeah. You know, if I'm a young person, I'll know where to sit. It's, it's just innate in Pacific people to to be humble, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's the guy that rocks up and goes sits on the front there. Everyone's just smiling, but they're going, "Look at that dick!" Look at that dick sitting over there. Look, you know, look, just because just because he does laughing samples doesn't mean he can get sit in the front. <laughs> Let's get him drunk. You know, and everyone's laughing and having fun, but yeah. really they're, they're going, "Man, look at that idiot sitting up the front." There. Yeah. Because even even when it, when it's not a cover setting, a lot of people say that about Tanoa. You, know, you know, it doesn't. You don't have to sit there and listen. Now, another, another, and 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 Pakilau, even some and DJ Tanoi. What are the benefits of cover uh, drinking for the drinkers and their families? What are some of the benefits? Um. So, so I, I mean, I, I see the the cover benefits. I mean, I, I certainly advocate, you know, um, uh, moderate use of cover. Eh? Uh, uh, like with, you know, if you're drinking beer or anything, you know, take it to the extreme, it will be harmful for you. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, socially, economically, and all those kind of things. Um, so the benefits I see is, um, uh, I mean, like, a, like the, the the saying goes, you know, it's not about the cover, it's about the talent, it's about the connection. Uh, that's probably the primary benefit that I know that, you know, why people get together in uh, the islands up here, away from the islands is for people to connect up because Pacific people are very relational. Um, you know, uh, we are we're mindful of our relations, of our families, of our extended mm. families. So so we always come together to sit down and have a talano. Talano, hey, how are you? Uh, how's things going? How, how's your work? And when we come away from the islands and uh, settle in a in an urban place like Auckland, you know, at the end of the week you uh, you you itching just to get away from your workmates and you know hook up with the family, hook up with your with your mates and have a talanoa. Tell you tell them about anything about family, about politics, yeah. about sports, about you know just to uh, it um, it uh, it's it's for your mental well-being and your yeah. In your in your in your well-being, uh, I see that as a as a as a reason why people get together. You know, they can almost talk about anything and debate and just let it out. You know, debate in the, uh, over over. I'm going to uh, cover about them. Yeah. Oh boy, you, you can have some really really yeah. deep conversations in the yeah. <laughs> in the, yeah. the cover and you you think, oh my God, these are all experts. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's the that's the thing, eh? you know, your your overall uh, well being. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably the primary thing. Mm-hmm. I'm sure nice. there are other things which are nice and uh, some we can add to. Thanks yeah. for that, another Pakilau, What are some of the other benefits? Well, the, the... The, some of the other benefits are, are for the young people to mm. learn from their um, the elders and the elders to learn from the young people. You know, mm. and, and this is a this is a safe space where you can have those um, awkward conversations as well, yeah. because cover does the opposite to alcohol. It doesn't get you all hyper, like you know, mm. you know how Tongans and Samoans uh, will, will drink, and then everyone's Superman <laughs> after five five minutes. You know, cover does the opposite. It just relaxes you, mm. and 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 this it, it just allows you to just take time to think about what you're going to say, and, and 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 I think our ancestors were geniuses. Eh? They knew there was something in this plant that allowed very uh, aggressive males to calm down and sit together in Talanoa, you know? And that's that's the beautiful thing about cover. Because you watch, um, you know, like athletes are starting to get into cover. Oh, uh, Ruben, oh, Wookie, yeah. Ruben Wookie started yeah. that um, back way back in the day, mm. you know? And, and they, they know the benefits of cover in terms of relaxing, you know? The, and when you're after a hard game, your body's all torn up. You sit down, have a bowl. You forget about your pain, you know. And that's that's the thing about cover. Yeah. And it's not as bad for you as alcohol. I'm sure you know yeah. you've got to drink it in moderation, like anything. Mm. But cover, I, I think, and there are studies to prove. Oops, I don't know, but there are probably studies out there that mm. uh, that cover is probably better than alcohol. I'm mm. sure, mm. you know. Yeah. And so um, those of you who study, uh, you know, this kind of stuff should should do a PhD. Do a mm. clinical trial on cover, you know, mm. and it's and the positive aspects uh, of cover for mental health, uh, maybe a way of weaning people off hard drugs, because you know mm. um, that's big problem in the islands now is the pee epidemic in Tonga. Eh? Mm. 
Yeah. And so um, a lot of the, the deportees and the young people getting into the hard drugs when they should be drinking cover. Mm. How about yourself, uh, Tonwai? No, probably because um, remember, Samoans, we don't really drink cover, socialize as much drinking cover as, as much as the Fijians and Tongans. Mm. But just sitting there, just thinking um, our parents, you know, in Samoa, because the way they teach the culture, they don't actually sit down and do classes and stuff. You have to sit, you have to follow, you have to watch everything they do. And there's no better place to learn how to do the formal speeches than be in that other ceremony. And some villages, if you don't have a tata, if you don't have a better, then you cannot sit there and be a almanga, be a servant next to the, mm. the uh, next to thing. So if you're sitting there as a non-titled person, you're listening to all the speeches. Man, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. Or everyone's outside. And then you look at the people that drink cover over here, you get a lot of the older generation. It's just a time where they fast saw, where they share all the knowledge and they pass on everything, just like you know, our Fijians and Tongans do it. So it's beautiful, eh? Nice. One, one dimension there, uh, the thing is the, it's the singing, yeah? Uh, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I just sit in the, I mean, I've seen it when I was growing up and even up to now is, you know, once the uh, Angono uh, cover, There'll be a few guitars there and a few ukuleles and yeah. and you know Pacific people can sing you know you just uh, you know just let it all out and you see the harmony and the melodious sound there yeah just, uh, yeah help you uh, help you uh, relax. Well, one one of the things about the uh, uh, you know drinking other and then wanting to sing is that then you have people who can't sing like Tanoi feel that <laughs> they they can sing and give them the confidence to. <laughs> You know, and then everyone <laughs> will never go to that cover ceremony <laughs> ever again. But, you know, now that um, because we're going to come uh, near the close of uh, uh, our session tonight, um, where are some of the best places where you can get good cover for a good price? Uh, we'll start, you know, with you, uh, Nada and uh, Pakila, where are some of the best places uh, we can get good deal? Uh... Oh, I, I know there's several uh, places down here. I mean, I've been off cover for a while, so I'm probably out, 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 uh, outdated in terms of contact. Um, but I, I, I know, I think in the Fiji coast here, there's uh, my cover is very popular here. Uh, my my cover uh, brand, so uh, I think it's uh, sold uh, here in Auckland and also uh, New Zealand. I think they've got a Facebook page as well, so they've got some. My cover. They, yeah, they they uh, bring it across from uh, from Fiji. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, and they sell it in in, in packets. They sell um, instant cover. Mm. <laughs> you know, you... <laughs> so um, yeah, so th th those those are the that's the main one that I that I know. I know. Uh, yeah, back uh, oh. uh, <laughs> Oh, good to know. Uh, there's my cover then for for our viewers, but Pakilao yep. knows all the uh, <laughs> the, the underground, black, the black the markets. Underground. <laughs> well, uh, you know, <laughs> um, I just want to do a shout out to my brothers uh, nice. from Wakanavu Cover, uh, oh, nice. Samsoni, uh, 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 Simon Lomoloma, Wakanavu Cover. You can order online. He's got all sorts of varieties. Wow. And then the Tongan cover, Pablo Escobar, Makahokovalu, the cover Tonga brand, Makahokovalu Bailate, sells these, the, probably the, one of the best uh, cover Tonga strain that you can get in Auckland. Uh, there's also Moala cover, there's Lamy cover, all sorts. You can get micronized cover that you can just stir like instant coffee. Sure. You don't have to do the, the balu balu stuff with this stuff here. You know how we have to use this. <laughs> and then balu it with our hands. And then the Bailangis are going gross. You don't need that with micronized cover. You can micronize it now. So Lummi cover has micronized cover. Um, and all these guys are members of the Inashi Cover Club with uh, my brother here, um, nice. with Nada. So we've got Tongan Samoans in the Inashi Cover Club, mm. uh, Japanese. We had even had a guy from Thailand jump in. Cover is a billion dollar industry. It's a billion dollar Damn. industry. Vanuatu sells over half a billion dollars of cover a year. It's huge. Damn. Tonga Samoa are <clears throat> way behind Fiji and the Melanesian brothers. They are way ahead of us. Wow. But it's a huge industry that's getting into Germany, Europe. It, it, if, we're too, if we're too slow to get onto the cover train, yeah. it, 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 the Balangis will take it off and run yeah. with it. And it's already happening. So I, I big ups to the young cover lions. Nice. Uh, you know, um, some uh, Simone and uh, the brothers uh, uh, over in Australia, young brothers there. 
Molakava, mm. they're they're really hitting it hard. And and my my um uh, my doc or makapai latte. So Inasi Cover Club, if you're interested in cover, and also if you've got land in the islands that you want to make lots of money, mm. grow cover. True. That's, eh? the, that's the key. Grow cover. What if you're growing cover here in in, New Zealand, in Auckland? Man, I'd, I've never heard cover grow in, in New Zealand. To, I, can, can. I don't know it's on Southern, man. I've got them all over here. Have you seen the first episode? I've got them all here. Nice. Donati, nice. Donati sells the cover that's got leaves. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah. the smoky, the smoky cover. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jacinda. <laughs> but but anyway, um, uh, another. If you want to tell us more about your uh, Nessie cover, uh, cover club. Um, let people know you guys on Facebook. Yeah, we um we we meet. Uh, we used to meet four times a week during lockdown level four. Mm. We went to three times a week on level three. We're down to two now. So Friday, Saturdays. Um, I always post the link up on my Facebook page. Nice. Uh, and when you when you come, once you, it's like the Hotel of California. You know, the <laughs> window, you know, once you're in, you can never leave. <laughs> so you you just have to join in once, and you're a member for life. Nice. This is the Inasi Cover Club. We've had about a hundred people from all over the place um, join in, uh, stay. We've got about twenty-five regulars. Uh, shout out to the ninjas, the Inasi ninjas out there, and uh, we've got even the MMT uh, president and chairman, New Zealand, as part nice. of our membership. So yeah, yeah, it's it's a good place to kind of experience the cover buzz. Mm. Uh, can I do a little plug on the uh, cover Aotearoa that we've developed as well? Um, go for it, brother. Go for it. Well, last year, the Mana Moana um, alumni did a, uh, the first uh, multi-diverse Pan Pacific cover at the Auckland Museum during Matariki. We got there at four in the morning, freezing our butts off. But we did a cover just before the sun rose, and we honoured Māori with the cover Aotearoa. And just want to shout out to Therese and Christine and all the Mana Moana crew. We want to do it again this year. Mm. And we'd like to welcome any of our Samoan brothers with better nice. to come and join because we need um, Bati, Fijian warriors mm. to also line the circle, to guard the cover circle. We want it much bigger this year. Uh, that's if the COVID is, uh, is uh, obviously uh, down to level one, but nice. it depends. So, yeah, just putting it out there. Just let me nice. know if people are keen. Malo. Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Nada and, and Pakilau. Look, I just want to thank you for your knowledge, sharing with us your experience, uh, and, and also uh, your time in, in sharing with us uh, and answering the, the questions that we had and some of the, the questions from Facebook. So thank you very much, Nada and uh, Pakilau. Thank you for your love. Keep up the awesome work that you're doing with your cover club, but also with serving our community through the work that you do uh, in general in the, in the mm. health services. So uh, uh, God bless you guys. Vinaka uh, Wakalevu, Malo Aupito. And uh, Tanwai, thank you for. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> but thank you for sharing uh, our Samoan perspective. To all our, uh, our, our viewers, thank you very much for hooking up. We're going to be back next Thursday with another, another uh, awesome Talano Live as part of. Uh, our village series. So thank you very much. Nakabaka Levu, Mode, and Malo Alpito. Malo. Malo. Malo.